Hey everyone, let's be real. Nobody wants a giant tower hogging their desk, especially when you're knee deep in 3D renders or sculpting intricate models. Today we're bringing you the top five mini PCs for 3D rendering this year. Absolute beasts in tiny packages. We're talking serious power for rendering, simulations, and design work. No compromises. For full specs, pricing, and more details, check the links in the description below. Let's dive in. Number one, Apple Mac Studio M2 Ultra. The Apple Mac Studio redefines compact power with its M2 Ultra chip, a beast for 3D rendering. This 3.7 inch tall marvel houses up to a 24 core CPU, 76 core GPU, and 192 gigabyte unified memory, chewing through complex renders in apps like Blender and Cinema 4D. Its 8 terabyte SSD ensures lightning fast file transfers, while the minimalist design fits seamlessly into any studio. The M2 Ultra's GPU leverages Apple's Metal API, optimizing performance for macOS native apps like Final Cut Pro, while some Windows-centric 3D software might lack optimization, the Mac Studio dominates in Apple's ecosystem. Dual HDMI ports support up to eight 4K displays, perfect for multi-monitor workflows. The silent cooling system keeps noise at bay even during 8K renders. Though upgradability is limited, its raw power and macOS integration make it a top pick for studios entrenched in Apple's ecosystem. Pros M2 Ultra's 76-core GPU handles heavy renders effortlessly. Near silent operation under load. macOS optimization for creative apps. Compact, elegant design. Cons, limited upgradability, no GPU swaps. macOS limits compatibility with some 3D software. Number two, Minisform, Neptune, HX, 100G. The Neptune HX 100G is a Windows-based juggernaut with an Intel Core i7-1370H and NVIDIA RTX 4060 GPU. Its 32 gigabytes DDR5 RAM and one terabyte NVMe SSD handle large textures and simulations smoothly, while the RTX 4060's DLSS 3 accelerates ray-traced renders in apps like Maya. This mini PC thrives in hybrid workflows. Use the front-mounted USB-C for quick data dumps from cameras or connect dual 4K monitors via HDMI 2.1. The dual fan cooling keeps thermals in check during marathon sessions, though it can get noisy. Perfect for indie devs needing portability without sacrificing CUDA cores. While the plastic chassis feels budget tier, its expandable storage, dual NVMe slots, and Thunderbolt 4 for eGPU support ensure versatility for demanding pipelines. Pros RTX 4060's 8GB VRAM for GPU rendering. Expandable storage, dual NVMe slots. Thunderbolt 4 for eGPUs or high-speed storage. Cons, plastic build feels budget tier. Noisy under heavy GPU load. Number three, Asus ROG Nuke 970. The Asus ROG Nuke 970 crams an Intel i9-139K and RTX 4070 into a 8.5 inch chassis making it a 3D rendering titan. With 32 gigabytes DDR5 and a one terabyte Gen 4 SSD, it breezes through Unreal Engine workflows and 4K video compositing. Overclock the i9 for faster simulations or leverage the RTX 4070's 12 gigabytes VRAM for OptiX accelerated renders. Four display outputs, HDMI 2.1 plus display port, let you multitask across monitors, while Wi-Fi 6E ensures lag-free cloud rendering. The RGB-lit chassis adds flair, but the price tag demands serious budgets. Though fan noise peaks during renders, its 2.5 gigabit Ethernet and robust thermal design make it ideal for network rendering farms, a premium choice for studios prioritizing raw power in a portable form. Pros RTX 4, 
Zero seven zeros, 12 gigabytes VRAM for heavy scenes, overclockable CPU for maximum performance, 2.5 gigabit Ethernet for network rendering, cons premium pricing, fan noise peaks during renders. Number four, Minisform U790 Pro. The UM790 Pro pairs AMD's Ryzen 9790 12 core with a Radeon 780M iGPU ideal for lighter 3D tasks. While the iGPU struggles with ray tracing, its Thunderbolt 4 port supports eGPUs like the RTX 4090 for heavy lifting. With 64 gigabytes DDR5 and dual NVMe slots, it's a budget-friendly node for distributed rendering farms. Use it as a compact workstation for ZBrush sculpting, or pair it with an eGPU for GPU-rendered animations. The Whisper Quiet design suits small studios, though rendering times lag behind dedicated GPUs. Dual 4K outputs and 2.5 gigabit Ethernet streamline collaborative workflows, while its Zen 4 architecture ensures snappy multitasking. A flexible entry point for creators needing CPU muscle with optional GPU expansion. Pros, affordable entry into 12-core performance. Thunderbolt 4 for eGPU flexibility, up to 64 gigabytes RAM for large scenes. Khan's integrated GPU limits standalone rendering, requires eGPU for serious workloads. Number five, B-Link SER9. The B-Link SER9 offers Ryzen 97900 power at a steal with 32 gigabytes, DDR5, and a one terabyte SSD. It's Radeon 780M, iGPU handles viewport modeling and Blender. But for final renders, connect an eGPU via Thunderbolt 4. This mini PC shines as a secondary node in render farms or for KD work on the go. Dual 4K outputs and 2.5 gigabit Ethernet streamlined collaborative workflows. Just don't expect it to crunch 8K cycles solo. It's a team player, not a lone wolf. The compact matte black design fits discreetly in any setup, and while cooling is basic, it's sufficient for CPU-centric tasks. Ideal for freelancers needing affordability and portability, with the option to scale up via eGPU. Pros budget-friendly, Ryzen 9 performance, compact and portable, easy eGPU expansion. Cons mediocre iGPU for rendering, limited internal cooling. And that's our lineup. Whether you're a Team Apple Silicon or a Windows Warrior, there's a mini PC here to supercharge your 3D workflow. Drop your favorite in the comments, smash that like button if we saved you hours of research, and subscribe for more tech deep dives. Until next time, keep rendering and stay compact.